Hello everyone, with you is Mariana. Today is Friday, which means it's a new video on my channel. Like and subscribe, and every Friday, stay tuned for a new educational video. In today's video, I will use Makeup Rubber Base from Egoista, which is colored base coat. It's a camouflage base coat. I heard many nail technicians, they're saying they have struggled using colored base coat. And stay tuned and find out what is the proper way to use colored base coats. These hands, I see them for the first time and uh, the request from client was to make them shorter. Just because I have noticed there are lots of lifting, so pretty much uh, will be required a good product removal. So I decided to do complete product removal and instead of nail extension and instead of using hard gel, I will do gel overlay. Also using the bit moving uh, forward at speed 30,000 RPM, I have removed the length and uh, maximum as I could, I did the product removal. When I finished product removal, client have asked me, can you please change the shape? Because I'm not really feeling comfortable with square. Sure, I can. So using the hand file 100 grid, I started to change the shape from square to oval. And also I have buffed the nail plate and removed all the um, lifting what was from previous set. The next step, I have used the pusher and push it back the cuticle, one of the most important steps for a good clean manicure. And using the red flame bit, the diameter, what I'm using it is 23 millimeter, moving forward at speed 16 to 800 RPM. I'm starting to remove the Chirigum cleaning and buffing the nail plate, then using the scissors from Stalex, my favorite one. You can find the link down below when you where you can get one of the scissors. I did the manicure. Until I finish the manicure, quick reminder, every Friday is coming a new video. Please like and subscribe. And also let me know what type of the content do you wish to see on my account. Once the manicure is done, I'm using acid-free primer. This will be your step number one on using camouflage base coat. Primer work as double tape. Second step, when you work with camouflage base coat, will be necessary to apply a thin layer of rubber base. But just because the rubber base have a higher level of adhesion, which doesn't have the camouflage base coat. And also it's really important, how do you apply this step? So if you pay attention, the way how I apply is really thin layer. I'm starting from the free edge and first I rub this clear base coat into the natural nail plate. This will be... Uh, guarantee that is no lifting. And this is the common problem why you have lifting on using camouflage base coats. Then the third step, I'm taking the camouflage base coat and I do now the nail plate alignment. One more time, just to summarize, camouflage base coat doesn't have that higher level of adhesion. So it's necessary to use the clear rubber base coat prior to colors. The makeup rubber base are great. There are many advantages of using them. Most important to use them properly. For artwork, I will use gold foil and black gel polish, same from Egoista. I forgot to mention about the curing time for the base coat. Both base coats, the curing time is 30 seconds in the lamp. 48 watts. The curing time may vary if you're using different type of the lamps. So for design, I'm removing the small pieces of foil and I just using a wood stick and I have a little bit of pressure on the nail plate because will stick very well. Just in case if your camouflage base coats doesn't have a good sticky layer of 
after curing, you can apply here thin layer of clean base coat, put the foil, then cure in the lamp. Using the black gel polish, I decided to do come a kind of abstracted nail art, something to have more as an accent. If you're watching this video right away, go in a comment section and let me know how do you find this color combination and also if you had the chance to work with nude bases, with camouflages, base coat and how do you like them. The curing time for Egoista gel polish is 30 seconds in a lamp of 48 watts and at the end I have sealed the design with matte top coat which doesn't have a sticky layer and the curing time will be one minute. I'm looking forward to see your question and comments down below this video. Like and subscribe and see you next Friday in another video tutorial. Have a wonderful and great nail day.